What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata, and I'm back, you guys. I hope everybody is doing good at this time. We are going to freestyle. We're going to just see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know in this present moment. Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? What are we talking about? What do you want us to know? What are the messages from the universe, Holy Spirit? I keep seeing this death card. Let's see. What is the message, Holy Spirit? What would you like? We have the Ten of Wands. Something has come to an end. Somebody has, they're at their wit's end. They've, they can't take it no more. We have the Moon card. And we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Star card and we have the Two of Cups, okay? So this King of Pentacles energy, he was tired of being in the Five of Pentacles, tired of feeling broken down, brow beaten. That's the energy today, okay? about this connection he was in. He was tired of being in the dark about what was really happening within his relationship. I feel like there were a lot of secrets in his relationship, okay? And he's he finally got some truth and clarity to the point that he can stop carrying these burdens, stop carrying the stress of not knowing and he can move on, okay? We have the world card. And right behind that, we have the four of swords. This is a man who is finally able to lay a situation to rest here because he has all of the keys, all the knowledge that he needs to know what time it is with whoever he was with. He, he know what time it is with them now. We have the chariot, okay? This may be a cancer sign, a cancer energy with this moon and this chariot. But I feel like this chariot energy just signifies how he's now able to move forward because he, he knows the truth. He has clarity. We have the sun. He knows the truth. He has clarity. He, the, the truth has been revealed, exposed somehow. So he's free now. I just saw like a tiny shimmer of light. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The truth was exposed about his partner, this Queen of Pentacles here. What was exposed, Holy Spirit? Ooh. There are a lot of illusions regarding this connection here. A lot of lies. A lot of things were exposed about this Queen of Pentacles. And this partnership that he was in. See, this King of Pentacles was mentally in despair because he had been committed to somebody that he didn't really know. Okay? He had then partnered up with somebody that really was doing a lot of shit in the dark. Okay? really creating a lot of conflict and drama and chaos on the back end that he eventually had to face. This was her energy. The Seven of Cups and this Five of Wands. We have the High Priestess and the Emperor, okay? You know, it's just that same old song type energy that this woman knew that this man was a divine masculine, that he was anointed. And this was part of her attempt to be in a connection with him. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? We have the three of swords and we have the six of swords.
I also feel like this Queen of Pentacles stepped out on this King of Pentacles with somebody else. Somebody who she thought was an emperor, more of an emperor, I'm hearing. Because he's coming out as the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is a divine masculine. And this Queen of Pentacles was aware of that. But then she went and found another divine masculine. And I feel like he, I just saw the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. He found out about it. She got caught up somehow. And he felt like he got caught up. He got played. And I do believe this, this is what, this is the truth and clarity that this King of Pentacles has received. He may have suspected that his partner had been cheating on him. Okay. And he knows that she's been cheating on him. He's received some type of, tr of truth and clarity about this emperor. He got some knowledge about this emperor being a third party to his connection. Okay. And it's heartbreaking, but it freed him. He's able to move on to calmer waters because he was bound to this woman. Okay. It's a karmic bond that they share, but I feel like he was also legally bound to her as well. We have the fool card here. Clarify this fool card, Holy Spirit. I feel like that's the energy this King of Pentacles is in now. Now that he knows, now that he has the knowledge to make a decision about the faithfulness, faithfulness of his Queen of Pentacles, she ain't faithful. This emperor is a, is the third party to them, okay? Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the hangman and the six of wands. She also chose to engage with this emperor, but she got caught up. And I feel like it was some type of public exposure, okay? This is, some, this is how he received this truth and clarity. Like I said, he always suspected that this woman was messing around. But he got that truth and clarity because she was publicly exposed somehow. Maybe these two people, somebody saw her out and about with this emperor. Damn, we have the hermit. It fell out like this, child. I don't know if y'all can see that. It fell like, out almost like it could be in reverse. But I feel like they was trying to, trying to cloak themselves, okay? They didn't want people to know what they were out here doing. Okay? But somebody saw them. We have the nine of wands. Somebody saw them. And I feel like that, that is what's, what probably got this king of pentacles more than anything. We have the tower. And then the king of cups had fell out. When someone discovered what was really going on, because they saw his wife, his his woman, his partner, out with this emperor energy. It caused a tower for this king of pentacles. You know, he coming out as a king of cups because he really did care for this woman now. We got the knight of cups. When he gave her that love offer, that motherfucker meant it, okay? He really did commit to this woman. He ain't out here in no cheating energy. She is, Okay. And the fact that he already coming out here as two kings, it lets me know that this is a divine masculine. This woman had picked up on the right thing, but he's single now coming out here as the third king, this king of wands. He said he going to show y'all that he just as ill as this damn emperor energy. Because see, she thought this emperor was better than the king of pentacles she had. We have the page of swords. And we have the Ace of Wands. This woman thought that she had the inside scoop on this emperor and that he was the better pick. Okay? That's why she chose to have a new beginning with him. Now this King of Wands is in a position that he can have a new beginning. 
10001 on the phone because he knows what this woman has been up to. Who told it, Holy Spirit? But somebody told it. Damn, I don't know what that was. Just try to flip out. We have the two of swords. Somebody seen it. And I feel like somebody was on the fence. Look at here. Somebody had seen what this woman was doing, okay? And they was debating about if they should hold back this information. I'm getting that they were maybe even going to think about bribing her a little bit with this seven of swords. They were going to get some type of satisfaction out of this, okay? Whether it was monetary satisfaction or just even seeing this king of pentacles be hurt in this way. Whoever this is, this seven of cups, excuse me, seven of swords, nine of cups energy. This person knew that this shit was going to throw this king of pentacles out of whack when they found out the truth about their counterpart and who they've been with. We have the devil and the ten of cups, honey. I'm trying to tell you, he knew that this was going to be something toxic to the future between this king and queen of pentacles. I said he. So maybe this was a masculine. Who told it? Clarify that, Holy Spirit. I'm just picking up on masculine energy. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles. What else? And we have justice. Okay. So what I was picking up was this bribe energy. This motherfucker knows whoever this seven of swords, nine of cups energy is, they chose to get justice off of this situation, okay? They chose to bribe this queen of pentacles, I'm hearing, either this emperor, either this emperor or this queen of pentacles. We have the queen of swords. So this could be a feminine. Or this could just be a masculine in that bitch energy. Okay? One of the two here. This sword energy. This person figured that they could come up somehow off of this information they had. And I'm picking up that they told either this emperor or this queen of pentacles. They bribed them somehow. Like, if you give me some money, I ain't going to tell on you. Because they know they got it. Confirm and clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords, Justice Energy here. Okay? They were not going to come out of this one empty-handed. They was going to come out, this Queen of Swords was going to come out as a Nine of Pentacles. This may have been a female who either told this Emperor or this Queen of Pentacles then I'm going to tell on y'all if y'all don't give me some money. And I guess they didn't give her no money. Because somehow, look, four of cups. Because this king of pentacles found out. He received truth and clarity about this queen of swords. Excuse me, from this queen of swords. Because she didn't get what she asked these other two people for. They refused her offer here with that four of cups. Mm -mm. We got the empress out here now, child. A lot of energy out here. I need to understand this empress energy, Holy Spirit. We have the ace of cups. Y'all, I'm picking up this queen of pentacles is pregnant. I'm picking that up. She coming out as her other man match now. And with this, it, it's just, I'm picking up. That's why I said, mm -mm, like that. I'm picking up that this queen of pentacles, she didn't, she cool with it. Okay. She want to be this empress, empress anyway. 1441 on the phone. Because she pregnant by him. She not pregnant by this king of pentacles. We have the eight of pentacles. She knows who she allowed to invest in her sexually, biologically. Okay. 
And she that's why they didn't pay this Queen of Swords to hold her water. And she wanted it to end. I told y'all from the beginning, I kept seeing the death card, 1515 on the phone. This woman wanted this connection to end. This queen of swords threatening to tell her other man what she been out here doing was her way out. In her mind, she was like, thank you, okay? With this five of swords here, this queen of swords was thinking she was winning it all, gonna win it all cost somehow by divulging this information to this king of pentacles and ruining this connection. But this queen of pentacles don't give a fuck no way because she is pregnant by this emperor, y'all. She is pregnant by this man. She do not care. We have the queen of wands. She glad to be single. Just like this king of pentacles is free to move on and do what he want to do now. This empress... Queen of Pentacles is free to move on and do what she want to do, okay? She is not upset or pressed about this King of Pentacles not being in her life at all. I feel like this Emperor energy, because it's coming out fast now, is the Six of Cups to her. This is somebody that she had memories with and had built some type of bond with in the past, and they reconnected. While she was apart from this man, she she had this connection with this King of Pentacles, but communication came in, and this woman realized who she loved and cared about. So this other woman trying to think she ruining somebody's shit, she really freed this woman up to Eight of Cups this situation and move forward to the person she truly desired, because this woman is pregnant, okay? 1717 on the phone. This woman is has, has accepted this offer from this emperor and it's growing inside of her. It's that type of vibe here. Especially with this Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. I feel like this woman is expecting, just like we had this Empress with this Ace of Cups. We have the Temperance card. So this Queen of Swords unconsciously and unknowingly balance this situation in a way that it could be more favorable for all because this king of pentacles did not need to continue being with this queen of pentacles if she pregnant by this emperor and if they have some type of past life connection i just heard because they are coming out as each other's divine counterpart but she also was coming out of some sort of soulmate to this king of pentacles Okay, they did come out as king and queen of pentacles and king and queen of wands. But what that tells me is, like we already know, you can have more than one divine counterpart. You can have more than one soulmate. And her connection with this emperor was deeper than her connection with this king of pentacles. He was more of an emperor to her because he is her divine counterpart. It's given that. Okay, so God allowed the situation to be balanced. Where this king of pentacles is free to move on to whoever he chooses who can balance his life, another soulmate of his. And this empress is able to be with this emperor and they create their generational family tree together because she is pregnant by this man. Okay, so it did get balanced in a way that was favorable to everyone. Maybe this King of Pentacles don't feel like that right now. 1919 on the phone. But he will see down the line that this is this was the best thing. I don't even think he know this woman pregnant. Okay? So he going to learn. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. He's going to learn that it's a good thing that he ain't celebrating with this queen of pentacles ain't anymore that he's not finding joy and happiness in being with her because i'm telling you he gonna have evidence of the action that she took while they were together okay 
Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want us to know here? Anything else? We have the Four of Wands and we have the Knight of Swords. He is going to learn about the action that she took to create a foundation with another. Because that baby is the start of a new foundation between this emperor and this empress. Okay? And it ain't no doubt that this is that emperor's child. I'm not picking up on any doubt. That's that man, baby. And this king of pentacles is going to know that that's not even his child. Like, that's not even going to be a question, y'all. Okay? So, I don't know what type of sex they was having or not having. If they was having protected sex, but that is not his child. And this emperor and empress are very confident in that. Okay? I think I'm going to end it here. I'm about out of cards anyway. Yep. So, it is best for him to withdraw from this situation and move the hell on. Turn his back and put distance between himself and this woman. 2112 on the phone. And I am dropping the mic. I hope this message helps somebody. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance, 2121, that you're looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. If it did resonate, hit that like button for me. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.